What up, it's Snowflake, and this is going to be tutorial number five in the DVD Studio Pro series. And I'm going to show you guys how to now. We're actually going to get into DVD Studio Pro, and I'm going to show you how to get your uh, video set up in your main menu. So this, this tutorial number five is going to focus on getting your videos in there, getting the main menu set up, and uh, then we'll take it from there. So first thing we want to do is just get a few things set up in DVD Studio Pro. Um, if you'll remember from previous tutorials, okay, I'm going to cue the button up there that says click for previous tutorial, right? If you remember those, uh, I set everything up for 16.9. My video, my video is 16.9, like the aspect ratio. My menus are 16.9. Although we saved them, they look kind of squashed, right? But everything is going to be 16.9. So if you're looking at DVD Studio Pro right now, just by default, it's set to 4.3. That's the aspect ratio, okay? And we're going to change that. So you got to go up to DVD Studio Pro and go to preferences. In Preferences, uh, I'll just show you these first two tabs here. Uh, under Project, DVD Standard, I have it as SD DVD, that's what it is. And then Video Standard is NTSC, because I'm in the good old US of A, and uh, I'm not working in PAL. If you work in PAL, then you can switch it. But I don't know anything past that. Uh, default language is English, because that's what I speak. All right, now in the General tab, um, under SD DVD Menus, Tracks, and Slideshows, Display Mode. Right now it's set to 4.3. We want to change this to 16.9 letterbox. And 16.9 letterbox means that even if it's on a 4.3 television or a 4.3 monitor, it'll it'll basically put that 16.9 menu within that four those 4.3 boundaries. A pan scan would kind of move back and forth, which is a little doesn't look that great. All right, so we're gonna do 16.9 letterbox, and that's all you have to worry about there. Now. It's still 4.3, obviously, so uh, we're going to create a new project before we'll actually implement that change we made. So we're just going to hit Command-N, creates a new project, and you can see that it's 16.9. Now, one other little thing I want to uh, point out up here in the settings on the right side, uh, you'll see it's selected as rectangular pixels, and I have that selected as rectangular pixels because we're importing a PNG from Photoshop, and uh, with all our text and everything in there, and that that's what makes it look best. All right? So, I'm going to delete these two. That's just a default thing that's there. And we're going to start importing our videos and our uh, images for our menus. Now, you can either use the import button down here, okay? Or you can just open up your finder, go find everything you need. Um, these are all the video files. And in a previous tutorial, I showed you how to create these. So, if you need to go check that out, you can. I'll put another button up there for you. But um, these, are, these are all the DVD files that we're going to drag into DVD Studio Pro and they're ready to be burned to a DVD or ready to be mastered um, through DVD C Studio Pro. So we're gonna drag this over here. All right, it's gonna import those. Then I'm also gonna go get the uh, graphics that we created. And I'm only gonna grab my PNG files. Now I'm gonna put everything in there, but we're only gonna go over the main menu on this tutorial and getting the video set up. All right, so everything's in there. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag my main menu into my graphical uh, overview. And there it is, as you can see, even though we saved it, when we saved it as a standard 4-3 aspect ratio, it, it stretches back out and it actually looks really good in DVD Studio Pro. So, um, just wanted to point that out. So, uh, if you once we have this dragged in here, uh, I'm with it highlighted, if you go down here, in the right bottom right hand corner, you can see that uh, the name of it is Menu 1, and I'm going to just name it Main. Okay, that's our main menu. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is you can also see that, uh, well, you can't really see this, but I'm going to show you this. Uh, when you pop in a DVD, what happens? Either a video plays or a menu comes up or something like that. Well, that's called the first play. And so we have to set something as a first play. So that's the first thing that plays when you pop the DVD in. So with this highlighted, actually not highlighted, we're going to collect, uh, actually, I think if I right click, no, I'll just show you how I do it typically. Okay, so click on the gray area and just the graphical, just anywhere in this gray area. And this gives you the default settings over down in the right, hor uh, right hand corner of our DVD. Okay, now uh, right now it's set to untitled disk. I'm going to change this to roommates. Okay, and then uh, first play, we're going to actually set to menu, main, and menu. So that, that main menu is the first thing. It's the first thing that pops up when you put it in the DVD player in your computer. And I don't know why I changed the name again, but we'll change it back. Roommates. Okay. Now, uh, we're in the advanced tab. I'm going to go back to the general tab over here. And you can see that it's just DVD standard, SD DVD. 
It's NTSC. I don't worry about anything here in the streams area. What I'm looking at is the remote control. And I set this all to the main menu. Um, that way, if you're on a, like a remote control for your DVD player, um, and you come, and the button that says title or menu or return, it just takes you back to the main, the main uh, menu where what you would see when you pop the DVD in. Now that's just kind of the good starting point. So I put that as that. I set it as the main menu. Uh, under disc volume, this is going to be a single a single layer DVD. Um, if you guys are interested in, in doing a dual layer DVD and the differences there, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll create a dual layer uh, DVD tutorial. But for now we're just going to do single layer. It's one side. Uh, region copyright. I have everything selected except for reserve. That means it will be able to be played anywhere. Um, and then in advanced, this is for like if you, for instance, uh, we're just going to focus on these three pull-down menus. Um, angle, chapter, audio, subtitle. If you had different camera angles, if you had uh, foreign languages or subtitles, then this could be used in order to implement those, but we don't. So the only thing I'm going to set is the chapter. So that means when, when the chapter menu or when the chapter button is hit on a remote control, where is that going to take you? And that would take you to the chapter menu. And I actually can't set it right now, but I just wanted to point that out because I don't have my chapter menu set up. This is just the main menu, right? So uh, with the main menu implemented, I'm going to save because that's always a good idea. So let's go to our projects folder. We'll call this roommates DVD. Okay. Now I'm going to drag everything into the graphical area, all my video. And the way you do that, you can, you can literally grab all of them. Um, just by clicking the top one, hitting shift, and selecting the bottom one, drag them all up here. Oh, maybe it doesn't work like that. Hold on. Two at a time. Okay, so you got to do the audio and the video one at a time. So make sure you grab them both, though. You grab both of those, the, highlight both the audio and the video, and you drag it up here. There it goes. Now it's in there, okay? And we'll do the same thing with episode two, and the same thing with episode three. All right, so I got them all in there. Now... I created my main menu so it has a chapters menu. Let's just say you didn't, and you didn't want a chapters menu, okay? All you wanted was just a DVD with a main menu and it would just play all. That's all you wanted, right? Well, let's just for, let's just for sake of showing you how this is done, um, pretend that for now, all right? Um, I, I, with all these selected in here, um, we're just gonna select, we're gonna basically activate a play all button. So you see, I have it says play all and it says chapters, right? But we have to actually, that's just text. It's just a graphic. And we have to put a button there in order for it to be able to be clicked. So I'm going to go over here into the, my palette. And you can see there's all these different tabs for templates and styles and stuff. But under shapes and Apple here, if you just go down a little bit, there's one that I, I like to use. It's called line highlight. Okay. And this is line highlight 64 by 4. All right. I'm going to drag this over into my menu area and just drop it in. It says button one. And I'm going to put it right underneath my play all. All right. And just for now, I'm just going to do this button. In the next tutorial, I'll show you what you do with multiple buttons and stuff. But just for now, I'm going to do one button. That's it. So you, oh, you pop it in, one button. That's all you got. Right? Okay. So uh, first of all, we want to change the color scheme because the color scheme right now is set to white. And it's on a white background. That doesn't look right. So with that selected, that button selected, I'm going to go down here. And under, uh, let's see. Colors, no, actually the under style. Um, there's selected highlight. You see this right here? Selected highlight. Um, this is just gives you different color schemes. So I'll, let's try red. What does red look like? Yeah, it's not bad. I'll, I'll choose red. And then uh, if you if you actually select it again and go over here under colors, you can see the way it's set up. If it's activated, if you hit the button on your on your um, computer or remote control, it turns yellow. If it's if it's just selected, it's red. That's it. Okay, now with this button highlighted again, we're going to set a target for it so that where is it point? When you click it, where does it go? All right, so with that button selected over here in the, tar uh, in the same area, you can see this target is not set. Well, I'm going to set it for the first episode, which is Roommates E1, and I'm just going to do the track. Okay, I'm not going to worry about chapters yet, just the track. All right, so when you click that button, it's going to take you here, and you can see in your graphical... Uh, uh, like uh, what do you call that? The graphical sort of over overview, right? You can see that there's got an arrow pointing from here to here. That's because this menu, a button on this menu, directs you to one of these videos, and it directs you to this one here. Now, when you get to the end of the video, what happens? Well, 
if you don't do anything, it just goes black and that's it, right? So with this selected now, this video selected, let me go over here, this has an end jump. Where does it do? Where, where's the end jump location, right? Well, we want it because it's a play all button that we're working with. I'm gonna change this to episode two. So when episode's one done, it just starts playing episode two. And then we're gonna do the same thing with episode two. When episode two is done, it's gonna go to episode three. And then when episode three is done, guess where it goes? Oh, it goes back to the main menu. Okay, just goes to main menu, that's it. So now you have your main menu, you got your three, uh, the three videos. When you click that button, it takes you here. When it's done, it takes you here. When it's done, it takes you here. And I'll just give you, uh, you can actually sort of check this out this way. Hold on a second. Uh, we can go to simulate. There's only one button, so I'm just gonna hit enter. Look what it does. It simulates the process, right? And it starts playing the first video, the first roommates. And when this is done, it'll take you to the next one. So I'll just show you, if you click this button, I think it's this one here, it takes you to the next video, right? Now I hit one more, it takes me to the next video, it takes you to the next action. The brushing. And then I hit one more and it takes you back to the main menu. And that's it. That's, that's, uh, that's how you set up your main menu with your videos in DVD Studio Pro. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up chapter menus with this so that you can actually go into uh, your, your chapter menus and you can set up chapters with you know longer videos. I'm gonna do it with this, but they're not very long, but set up some chapter menus. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's really a bit about it. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, if it was, you know, make sure to like the video, comment on it, and then subscribe. Um, there's gonna be a button up there. Just click that button and subscribe, it'd be pretty cool. And then uh, check back later for more tutorials and tips on Final Cut Pro. Apple Motion Compressor, DVD Studio Pro, and check back later for the next tutorial in this series, in the DVD Studio Pro series. Peace.